Okay guys, like I said this morning, we're gonna do a bonus live today. Just let me share this over into my classroom and then we'll get going. So I actually was gonna do this last week and then we got off on a tangent of doing the um, calendar inserts for March. And so I thought, okay, well, I have some time. My schedule changed slightly today. So I thought, why don't we come back and we will assemble this layout. So I was gonna do it last week cause it's got like the rainbows and um, some green on it. So it was kind of like St. Patrick's Day like to me. So I pulled out some photographs and okay I think I've got it going let me close that down now so for whoever doesn't know craft with heart is close to my heart subscription program so it works kind of the same as like those bark boxes and all those fun things let me just move that out of the way I don't need anything more in front of my face um, <laughs> and it comes once a, so the, so the scrapbooking one comes once every four months. So January, February, we're gonna do one of the March ones and then there's two for April. It's two layouts for every month. They're nice and simple and literally you can just slap your photographs down on the page. Um, and then the next, your next box comes and you've got four more months. So you could subscribe per month, per quarter, or for the whole year. The best savings is obviously doing the whole year. So here we go. We're gonna jazz it up just a little bit because I can't just leave it alone. So everything comes, I've actually split it all open already. I probably should have left it in the bag. But everything comes for every month in one plastic bag with your page protectors, your little set of instructions because there's not much instructions required. There's your background pages. I only have one here. And then there is always a punch out sheet and a sticker sheet. And it's marked which layout. So we're gonna do layout number one from March. So, and like I said, there's also page protectors in there. So we're going to pull out these two pages. So I have the backgrounds ready to go. And there's a left and a right. And so the fun thing about these, actually I'll make my table bigger here. There we go. Um, the fun thing about these is they can do some different kind of things with these kits. They can, um make them look like they've got multi layers of paper but it's just a single sheet of paper so you can see this one is the left hand side for march and it's got the fun green and the little um clovers and the little rainbows and the little hearts and then it kind of looks like maybe it's raining in the background but it looks like it's three or four pieces of paper on top of each other, but they're completely flat. So this is our left-hand side, and then I have our right-hand side in here too. And then there's the right-hand side. So these are um, all ready to go, okay? And so we're gonna punch out all the stuff for layout number one. So these are the punch out sheets, and um, they come apart very easily. So we've got a couple of frames. And so the title says, Lucky Me. Sorry, one's a punch out and one's a sticker. So I'm just gonna take a second. We're gonna punch all our parts out here. Literally, we're gonna do this in real time. And I have just grabbed a couple, like very few, extra little embellishments that we're going to add. Because I want to show you like how easy it is, but also that you can change them if you want to. 
So I have taken um, other ones and added um, different techniques onto them. I've done like some splattering on them, added extra embellishments, or um, I think I did one with adding distress inks onto it just to jazz it up a little bit. So the fun thing is you can leave them as easy as they are or level them up a little bit. But it is a great way to quickly put a couple of layouts together. So like I said this morning, I just opened my photos album and grabbed the right number of photos that I needed. And I cropped them already. On some of them, it's easier to change the photo sizes than others um, if you don't have the right photo. Okay. So here we go. The stickers, I'm going to leave on there until we are ready for them. So. This took all of like two minutes. Okay, so these are the rest are for layout number two. So I'll set that aside. And I messed around with my camera yesterday to bring you guys down so you could watch that February calendar insert. And then I moved it back up this morning and hopefully I got it close to right. So that we can get both the layouts down here. Okay. There we go. So who has the craft with heart? So there's two programs. There is a scrapbooking program and there's also a card making program. So I printed some um, photos from our trip to the lake. My husband got to go up in the float plane that day with uh, a neighbor and my mom. So I thought that Lucky Me title would be perfect. So I printed my photos and I have actually used the, um, the photo mats and I've just trimmed my photo down like an eighth of an inch just for a little bit of border. Yes, Sarah has them. And, um, okay, so I think this is what my plan was. Kind of like this. The cards are an awesome way to get like a whole pile of cards done in a very short period of time. Okay, so these now, so I have added twine to my photos. Like I said, I trim them down like an eighth of an inch. I know. So Marilyn's saying she took them on a trip to Texas and did 16 pages in the hotel. And I wish you'd brought more. Yeah, because they are. They're a super fast way to um, scrapbook. And... So the fun thing is too, I think that everybody has like a style of the way they scrapbook. And so these kind of push you outside of your comfort zone or make you do something a little bit different. It's the same reason that like, I like a workshop obviously, or um, album retreat, right? They teach you different things that you might not necessarily do. So these um, frames fit the photo. So I'm going to add my frame and then I have popped up my photo because I put the twine on there. So I just grabbed the raspberry and white twine and that is what we're going to put on there. So I'm just kind of um, roughing them in just based on the layout they have here. But, okay, I want to see if I can, no, I'll put this over here. 
I was going to flip it onto this side with the photograph of the airplane, but that would put the text upside down. So we're not going to do that one. So I will just write my story on this side. That's totally fine. So, okay. So because I have some different levels going on, I have to be conscious before I start sticking stuff down. So like I said, I've popped these all up on 3D foam. So I'm going to lay this frame where I want it and then add this photo overlapping. So my frame will end up on the bottom, but I've got the dimension in the photograph. Okay. So we have that on this side. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the pieces kind of where they belong and then we will start gluing them down. So I have a clover for each side. So I'm literally just looking at the photograph. Like I said, I think we're gonna add some different things in as we go. So the little two leaf, oh, all the leaves are the same. So we've got one is smaller. How many leaves do we actually have here? So this butterfly goes on this side. We need a clover over here. So we have two and two. But I only see three sets of leaves. That's very interesting. So one must just be tucked in underneath here somewhere. Okay, so we'll, we will add two over here and two over here and our flower and then we have another butterfly. There's a butterfly and we have the yellow heart up here in the sky. And then the cloud is a sticker and these scallop pieces are stickers. So there's a small one for over here, but I actually think I might move that. Okay, and I'm just gonna get my little embossing um, pouch because I think we're going to take the stick off of some of this stuff and pop it up. Okay. You know what else would look really good on here? Okay, so I grabbed a few things. So I have, I grabbed the Daisy Meadow dots because I thought they actually went really nicely. I grabbed the bows because you guys know I love the bows. I grabbed black and white dots, and then I have gold sequins, and I have uh, gold embellishing thread too. But you know what else would look awesome is, um, I know on the page they're super cute. You know what else would look really cute is um, the lemonade shimmer trim. Which is funny because I was just talking about it this morning when I was do when I was showing the um, party time workshop because I think I've used that yellow shimmer trim like a lot this um, sees this like quarter. So, okay, and I think I'm going to okay. So you see how the long scallop pieces here, I'm gonna actually switch that out and I'm gonna use the shorter one because it gets hidden anyway with the um, embellishment. And I'm gonna take the longer one and put it 
on the other side of that four by six. There's these cute little two um, hearts down there on the um, page, which are super cute. Okay, so I so you, you can see I added the shorter one there. I'm gonna take my backing off my photographs and I'm gonna add this one up top because we don't have to worry about it being in the way of anybody else. So I thought we would do this one because the title was Lucky Me and there's rainbows and today's St. Patrick's Day. So, and as you can see, I am not wearing green today. So I super hope that leprechaun doesn't pinch me. It was funny at uh, dinner not that long ago, we were talking about um, St. Patrick's Day because I'm assuming it was getting close. And uh, my daughter said one year she'll never forget she got pinched and she was convinced that the leprechaun had pinched her. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use this one on the left hand side on that big to draw more attention to this photograph here. But we're gonna attach, I just have to move my drink over a little bit because I, I'm foreseeing an accident happening. So I would grab my Lemonade Shimmer Trim, but as I was saying it, I did realize that I actually dropped it behind my um, desk earlier when I was putting it away and I haven't pulled it back out. So either I have to go digging or we'll use something else. Okay, so like I said, I'm just gonna kind of offset this first and then add my photograph. Hey Lori. So this is from the current craft with heart subscription pages. These are one of the sets of March. Isn't it cute? So something they did different this year than they did past years. In past years, the paper was matched um, current products from the idea book. But this year, what they did was they've made all of these exclusive. So that's also the fun thing about this, right? Is that they're different than what we have in the idea book. So, and then I'm going to add this one. And then, so there's Brian driving the boat and this is Emmy and she's like practically on his lap. She loved to go out in the boat. Obi loves the boat too. And he will sit on the dock and cry to go for a boat ride. <laughs> it's cute, Lori, isn't it? So, and the nice thing is, right, you can just order the quarter or the month or whatever. So, it's cute because it's just kind of like nice and subtle. Okay, so I'm going to add this one here, the side. And then I'll put Brian and Emmy in here. And then we'll start filling in the other side. It's so funny, you guys. So there's a glitch with um, Facebook Live right now, which I don't know if um, whoever is actually doing lives you would see it, but um, so sometimes it used to happen if somebody was watching on more than one device or flip devices, then you would see their name because you can see who's watching. Sometimes it goes too fast and I can't actually catch it, but there's a glitch right now that um, lots of times you, you see the notification like five times six times 
So, Sharice, it looks like you're watching me in like six different spots. Really, when I know you're just looking at one spot. It's just funny. Okay, so we have a little... And I thought this was kind of perfect with the raspberry twine. So I'm just going to lay these here until I figure out what we're going to do on the other side. And so the paper embellishments though are um, like thin paper. So be careful if you're going to um, manipulate them at all. So I'm just kind of rolling the butterfly a little bit with my bone folder just to give it a little bit of dimension and I'll probably just very gently um, just curl the leaves just a little bit not the leaves but the petals oh and there you go I just found this so there are two sets of um, leaves on this side of the page it's just kind of really tucked up there so I'm just going to lay these in I'm totally going to sneeze you guys but I will try not to have a big so it's nice here now so my allergies have started going crazy mine and my son's allergies it just started to go crazy. Okay, I'm gonna move the butterfly up so it's not on Brian's head. We're gonna kind of maneuver those in place as we go. Okay, and then on this side, okay, I'm going to, I want to see how big the title is, so I'm going to cut the stickers off. So just like I did the other day, so if I wasn't gonna do these at the same time, I would just stage them and put like my stickers for layout number two with layout number two and probably I would even put them in the page protector. I'll, I can show you at the end. And then as I find the photographs that I want to use, for the layouts you can just slide them all inside the page protector and then and then um, you if you're going somewhere you can just pull them out or take however many um, kits with you like Marilyn was saying so I'm just pulling the backing off so I can actually see the size of the stickers and I'm just going to cut this up because I just want to see the me on my page here. I'm going to pop this up for sure. And we are going to add our gold embellishing thread just because I can and I can add a little bit of glitter and I thought it kind of went with like the gold under the rainbow see and that's why I actually had started to pull out the gold embellishments but the daisy meadow dots go so nicely I think I might use those okay so I just rolled the embellishing thread around my finger and I'm going to put it on a glue dot, okay, just so I have it there. I think I'm going to, okay, I think we need to add the frame down so I stop moving it around. And then we'll add the scallop border over here and adhere that photo too. And then we can add in the rest of our stuff. Like I said, this is going to be a quick one because it's nice and easy, even if you want to add some stuff to it, right? So 
I'm just moving it up a little bit so I have that clover border. Okay, and so if you missed it earlier, Party Time Workshop has been released. So I'm currently up to date with everything that is available. All the workshops are now on my blog. And, okay, so I, like I said, I switched it and we're gonna put this over here because I wanna draw more attention to this photograph because this is what the layout is about, is about the going up in the airplane. So, and whoever didn't see too, I finished the February calendar insert yesterday. And I'm gonna try and work on a blog post for like the March and the February one. I'm not exactly sure how to format it, but I will figure it out. It's so fun. Yes, and I actually think, Marilyn, I sent those to you already. Just right before this, you I think you ordered them. Okay. There we go. Okay. So then, I am going to... Oop, I've got okay, so this is just a picture of me sitting on the um, deck as I watch everybody go zooming by on the boat. I'm going to put this, I think, over here. And okay, I'm going to add the embellishing thread at the top. I'm going to add my title and I tuck it underneath the lucky. Okay, so we're going to hold off for a second here. So I'm going to add my me. Like that. So I'm just touching. I want the me to touch the top of the frame so that it's connected to the layout versus just kind of floating in the air like they have it. And I'm going to pop this up. I'm gonna do the title, I think, on thin. And I'm gonna tuck the embellishing thread off the end of this, I think. And I'm gonna pop the cloud up on um, 3D foam tape. So it is funny because the party time and the lovely were like literally the most asked for workshops over the course of the last year. And um, it took me a while to do them. Okay, so I'm gonna pop up my cloud. I'm going to use, just take the sticky off the back so that I can add my 3D foam tape and then I can move it around so I can decide where I want it. So, and I still have the Celebrate layout coming. So it's the same layout I taught at Extravaganza, but I'm gonna reteach it with, um, it is current product, because I did, I taught it with um, Party Time, but we are going to, I think I want it just like tucked in right there. And I'm gonna move this down, and this, I'm gonna put the, Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna not stick it down, but I'm gonna pull off my backing and I have my embellishing thread. I'll go back to the Celebrate layout in a second here. 
Okay, so I have it still on its glue dot and I'm just gonna tuck it in behind and it can, so you can see it's just also touching on the 3D foam. Okay, and then this one I'm also going to put, so this is just paper. I'm gonna put it, my tweezers would have come in handy then. I'm still having a little bit of an issue getting used to them. Because our tweezers were gone so long, I'll bring them out so I remember. I had the other kind of tweezers where you pushed on them and so that they unlocked. So now I'm having a hard time remembering. I just need to um, pinch them. Okay, so here we go. I have 3D foam tape on this heart. And I'm just gonna tuck it so it kind of connects everything together here. Good morning, Gay. This three o'clock time that I've been doing my lives lately seems to be nice because it balances both sides. It balances kind of, this would also look really cute if I um, inked the edges of the cloud so that it stood out more. But, oh, I have an idea. Maybe I'll do something a little bit different. Okay, so let's, add this cluster in here okay so wait a second here i have more things because i didn't add them i have these pink chevrons i have this little blue heart okay and i have a little pink heart and i have a second chevron underneath here too and the little file tab. So this I can add up here. I'm going to add, I think that little pink heart right there. And maybe I'll add this bluebell heart right here. And I'll put these little chevrons, I think maybe over here, but we're gonna just see. Okay, so some adhesive here and I'm just overlapping it so it just touches the little line there so it kind of brings the whole little cluster together until we put the um oh I guess that is a little bit early I'm pretty sure not everybody is up at 7 30 watching me scrapbook in the morning But, okay, so I need some twine for over here, I mean, and thread for over here, because we're gonna build then this cluster here. So I'm just pulling it off. And then I still have to decide if we're gonna add these in. Oh, you've already, holy smokes, then you work early. But I should, I should say I also am typically working by 7.30 in the morning here, too. So. Okay, so I'm just wrapping it around my fingers. And this one is going over here. And I'm just going to add it on my glue dot while I'm waiting. Okay, and then I know I want another one for over here, so I'm gonna do it at the same time, and then I can just move this off my table so we don't need to worry about it anymore. Because at this point, I start to get lots of stuff kind of all over the place. Okay, so we're done with that for sure. I'm just wrapping it. And now I know I have so I've got three spots, right? One, two, and three are odd numbers. 
three, five, seven. Okay. And these are the bigger glue dots, so I will just typically take my piercing tool and fold it over. And then I can, so I'll probably start my cluster with this first. And I'm going to tuck it right about here. Okay. Gold gems would be good here too. Okay, and then, like I said, if you're going to um, add dimension to these things, be super careful because it is, it is like paper, paper, so um, it will rip. Okay, so I'm going to add some foam tape to the back here. I'm not going to take it off and we're going to kind of just set up our little cluster here. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. So I just wanted that sticking off the edge there. And I'm just going to curl those leaves. So I'm just gently bending it and pushing it back, just like that. Okay, and we'll put one here. I'm gonna put the two big leaves beside each other. And then we have a sticker for down here too. So same thing, I'm gonna take the stick off and I'll put it on, we'll decide here. Just, I can lay it down now and I know its size without adhering it down. Okay, so I'm just kind of rolling them, like I said, just a little bit. This, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of thin 3D foam tape on there. Because wherever I stick this, we're going to, it, it's just, I just want it on the top. Okay, this, I think I'm going to add some 3D foam tape. And because I know it's going to overlap my photo, I'm just going to add it down to this bottom part here. Okay. So actually, this is going to be, I think, the first thing I'm going to stick down. And... I'm moving it about here and I'm going to use this to connect these two things together and fill in this little space here or a little stray piece of embellishing thread there okay and this because the photo is on 3d foam too and this is too I'm just going to add adhesive just flat adhesive to each end and just kind of tuck it in so it just ties it all kind of together there. Okay, and now I'm gonna put my flower down so I can tuck my stuff underneath. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use smaller glue dots so I can just tuck these in easily. So I'm just going to add one or two glue dots and that's more than enough to get them to stick. So it's funny, I think some of 
I think my blue dots on this roll are on backwards or not the same as the normal. Okay, there we go. And then, okay, I'm just trying to decide. Okay, just a little bit underneath this one. We still have stickers. And those dots, which I'm determined to use. Oh, and I can't forget to actually glue that down. Okay, so let's just glue this down before I lift up my page and send it flying. I have to actually look the date back up. Okay, and then Yeah, it's weird. So, because I'm really used I I really like glue dots. Um so I know that they're backwards sometimes. So it's kind of weird to then get used to them being on the other side of the roll. And at first I thought, oh, well maybe I'm just unrolling it backwards. But no, I'm not. So unless um, the glue got, dot company has switched the side of the paper. Emmy's lying behind me. She had to get groomed today and that was exhausting for her. So she's doing big, huge size behind me. So it stresses her out. So she's tired now. Okay, so I have two hearts. So I need one in each of the clusters now. So I think I think, I think I'm gonna, oh, wait on that then. So, okay, so I think we have everything attached except for the dots. So I think, like I think these are just perfect. Let me just make sure I have all my sizes here. So, Ah, uh, I want a full sheet. So I think we will go like this. Here, one, two. Oh, I have to put these somewhere too. And I actually think we might add these over here. So I'm going to have to just leave them there. Oh, no, maybe I'm going to add them in there. Oh, wait a second. I'm going to put them down here. Yep. Okay, so I was starting to talk about the Celebrate page and I got totally distracted by my own yammering. So I'm still gonna come back and do that. I think it's gonna have to be Friday though, but I did cut the pieces yesterday and it's gonna be cute. 
and I think we're probably going to make it more than once because everybody voted for different paper packs. So I was asking for votes to see which paper pack you guys wanted it made in. And uh, the votes were like for everything. So, find my piercing tool. I can't do that with my. So I said we could do it with cardstock, we could do it with the mix sounds, we could do it with Daisy Meadows, we could do it with um, Eat, Play, Love, and literally the votes were all over the place. So the first one is kind of like a mashup, and then I think we're going to come back and we will do it again with another paper pack. Okay, I have to put these here so I don't forget them. And let's just build this cluster and then we can be done. So, I have to make sure I've got things stuck down. Because sometimes, if I put them like on 3D foam tape and don't actually adhere anything down and then at the end I go and I pick up my layout and then I got a piece that goes flying across the room. Okay, you guys, and you know what? We're going to just look at this. just going to play up the best right there. Okay. Now we are getting there. We're almost finished. I will 3D foam tape this again. It's funny because I literally have Two, well, I have four pair of scissors. I always have two on my desk because I can never find them. Okay, so we just, we don't want to cover up Brian's head here. So let's just see here. If I move this over like that. And... this and I think I thought how perfect is that little mushroom for being at the lake so I put this one on thin foam tape see and obviously if you guys did it all flat you wouldn't uh... oh and we need our embellishing thread so it's already on my glue dot so I need to just put it here so I don't forget it because I need to just decide if it's going to go over here or on the inside I'm going to put the, I'm going to stick the little cute mushroom down first just right there and then I'm folding over my little glue dot. So then everything's all just kind of caught inside there. You can also, if you still have the little stapler, if you have a hard time um, getting the um, embellishing thread to stay together, you can staple it with the old um, mini stapler because it's getting tucked in and nobody's ever going to see your staple. So, okay, I'm going to put this right here. And then those glue dots are sticky. I'm going to add my flower because then we can just tuck the rest of the things in underneath.
So yeah, if anybody wants to go back and watch the February and March calendars, they are on there. And for some reason, February didn't lo uh, load to my YouTube channel. So I will go back and load that. But I did notice I was adding all the videos back into my blog for the workshops. And I did notice that March is there. So. I thought maybe I should put them together like in a playlist so that it what the perpetual inserts were all kind of together as we go. So I'll try and remember to do that. Okay, and then we have this butterfly and this little clover. So like I said, I'm just being really gentle and I'll add the 3D foam tape in the middle there. Then I can kind of move it around if so I can see how it all kind of comes together. Okay, we're getting close. So now the only thing I have to do is I'll add back in, I have my two little hearts and we'll add the Daisy Metal Dots in there. But like I said, the gold gems would be great. The sequins would be good. The black and white dots would also be good. And see, you're not even gonna notice that I use the shorter piece on this side because it's all going to be covered up anyway. Okay, so that's the end of the stickers. But I think I'm going to put my blue sticker, my blue heart on this side. And my yellow one right there. And then we are gonna be done. Okay, so move this out of the way. Move this out of the way. We'll add our dots in. Whoop, it jumped. So right here. And a big blue one. And the medium sized one. So there we go. I'm just trying to decide if we need to do anything more. But I think we should maybe stop. to add a glue dot on there.
little foam adhesives are not sticky. So I don't know if that's from them being here or they were always like that. So I always just add a glue dot on them just to make sure. Oh, and look at that. I have an extra glue dot on my finger. And now everything's going to stick to my finger, you guys. You know that. Okay. So I think that turned out cute. So like I said, this is one of the March Craft with Hearts. And so we added some of the embellishing thread. We added some of the Daisy Meadow Dots. We've got some of the Raspberry um, twine on here, the little black and white striped bows. So that's how it turned out. I will photograph it and I'll post some of the finished photos. So that is what I have for you guys today. So let me just flip this down again. There we go. If you want to vote for um, how which paper pack you want me to use to recreate the celebrate page, you can drop it in the comments below and I'll add it to the little tally we have going. And um, so for whoever doesn't remember, it's got like the three little pullout tags. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be Friday because um, I have some taping to do tomorrow and um, I have to be out of the house all morning so that like I said all current workshops are posted on my blog um, yeah. and I think that's all I think that's all I've got so like I said Cropped with heart, March layout. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. And I think this looks super cute with a few photographs on it. And obviously if you needed to add more photos, you could always add flip flaps, especially, so the craft with heart too, right? They're not, they, you don't have room to put um, like a, a ton of photographs on them the the spots are pretty set as like you had you saw how I could slightly adapt um, how I was adding the photographs but you can't add like a ton of, of different photographs but a great way if you wanted to add more photographs would be to then add flip flaps on top of this and um, I did film because I had a few people ask me about um, passing flip flops through what, like if you actually put it on your layout versus on top of your um, page protector, how they're designed, how to pass it through. So I did film a video on that. And that is, um, if you go to the videos, you can find that just as I did it more as like a product knowledge, how to use a flip flop kind of thing than anything else. So if you guys have questions or techniques that you would like to see, feel free to post a comment below. I just have a little tiny bit of adhesive that, there we go, went outside. Um, but other than that, that's what I have for you guys today and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.